What's up guys, AC Car Chart back again, back with another episode of recent pickups this time. Um, I, uh, I hit up uh, Game Gallery in Easton, Pennsylvania, and uh, I also have a Best Buy pickup. This is part one of this video, part two. Uh, I have two more pickups to make. I have two games on hold, which I have to, uh, pending the weather, I need to be able to meet up with somebody to pick them up. So I'll tag that on the end of this video. Uh, from the game gallery, I went down there. Uh, I always have a good time when I go down to the game gallery. They always have stuff I, I want or need. Um, they have the arcade attached down there. So if you guys haven't been down to the game gallery in Easton, please go check them out down by the uh, the circle in downtown Easton. And um, they always have some good stuff. So if you guys are local, please go check them out. Um, I picked up five games for the Sega Master System. Uh, first game up is Action Fighter. Um, as you guys know, I get I always get these in their boxes. I don't get cartridge uh, uh, Just because of the the display on the shelf uh, This one is game only there's no manual, but it is in its box and the spine looks really good So there's action fighter for the Sega Master System uh, Second game up is uh, again cartridge in box no manual the game is zillion and As you can see there's your spine so zillion um, the third game I picked up is again cartridge and box no manual and that is Zillion 2 Zillion 2 Sega Master System uh, the fourth game I picked up it is complete in box with the manual and that game is called Wanted so obviously as you can see it's a shooting game but it's Wanted and there's there's some there's some artwork for you guys typical 8-bit 8-bit uh, era game and as you can see this one is complete in box with a manual and then the last one I picked up um, is also complete and actually comes with a poster as well um, and that game is Aztec Adventure all five of those for the Sega Master System just looks like a good time uh, you know growing up I didn't have a Sega Master System I had an NES as you can see that's my favorite so um, but the NES was always my favorite never had a Master System until I was in my late 20s early 30s so all these games are like brand new to me um i've played some on emulation but that's about it so um to have some basically brand new uh, brand new games in the 8-bit era for me to play it's just awesome so i mean every time i see ones i need and they're they have at least their box i pick them up and uh it just gives me a brand new experience which is really awesome um two nes titles i picked up from game gallery um just ones i needed for the collection one i've been looking for for a while and finally came across it for the right price um but I'll get to that one in a second. The first one is Mechanized Attack, put out by SNK. Same guys who put out Baseball Stars. There you go, Mechanized Attack. And the other game, this is the one I've been looking for for a while. Uh, I've been trying to get it off eBay, not, you know, just couldn't get the right price at the right time. Uh, finally, was able to find it in the wild, which is even more exciting. The fact that you find it on a shelf and that the price is what you want to pay, which is just awesome. But it's Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six for the NES. And there's a spine right there. So everything in, in really good shape. So a uh, really awesome trip down to down to the game gallery at Easton, as you can see. Really, really nice 8-bit uh, pickups from them. Um, just like I said, always a good time. Please, you know, if you haven't checked them out, please go check them out. Uh, if you have Facebook, go on there, like them. They they a lot of times will will show you some stuff they got in, some stock that they got in, some rare titles, some you know, just just you know, some stuff to kind of. Um, make you want to come in, which which it works, because I see stuff on there. I'm like, oh, let me go pick that up. So that's how it works. So uh, anyway, uh, the box from Best Buy is right here. Let me uh, let me show you this side. My address is not on that side. Um, this this is what I was talking about. I guess it was one, two, whatever, how many videos ago I talked about. Uh, I picked up something from to to help. I guess change the direction of my of my channel. Um, it is a game capture device, and it is called the Elgato. Um, if you guys are fans of Dinky Dana, he did a, a review video about this. Uh, a couple of my friends already have these. Um, nothing but good things that have, people have been saying about this. As you can see right there, this, it's a game capture device, uh, HD. So um, basically what this is, is you hook up your, your gaming system, um, you could probably hook up like a VCR if you want to transfer like old home movies onto DVD or to digitize them onto your computer. Um, yeah, it's, it's just literally a capture device, but this is supposed to be one of the best ones on the market. And, um, it does hook up through HDMI. 
Um, you could also hook up, I believe, um, uh, just standard AV. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to, let me see. Yeah, input, you can do HDMI, AV, um, and it also has the HDMI or USB out. So you can hook it up directly to your TV and play it on your TV while you're capturing on a laptop. Uh, for me personally, I'm going to hook it up to the iMac down here in the game room and just leave it as like a station, so to speak, so that um, I have extra consoles that I have actually already set up on my desk and extra NES, extra Famicom, extra everything pretty much. And if I don't have extra, I'll, I'll disconnect it from the TV, bring it over, and then do some capture. Um, so I'm going to be starting a new series up as soon as I get this game room settled and I can actually work at the desk. Uh, I'm going to be starting up a new series, and it's basically going to be just that I play a game, whether it be NES, uh, Atari, uh, all the way up through, you know, if I have to disconnect the 360 or the PS3 or, or something and bring it downstairs to the game room and, and do that, I will. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the first game. And what I'm going to do is, at the end of the video, I'll do some gameplay, I'll do some voiceover work, and just kind of, you know, tell you guys how it is, how it plays, um, you know, just, just that kind of stuff, like a let's, almost like a Let's Play video. But, and then at the end, what I'm going to do is pick three games for the next episode. And I'm going to put them up on the video and show you guys which ones they are, and I'll let you guys vote on which one you want to see. So, uh, for instance, if it's like Mega Man 2, uh, Devil's World, and... Um, I don't know, like Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Let's just pick those. If if those are the three that I want to personally have one chosen from, I'll put those up on the screen, uh, and I'll just say, okay, you know, vote vote below in the comments and let me know what you want to see for the next episode. Uh, if I happen to get zero votes or whatever, then I'll just pick what I want to do, and I'll just do that for the next episode. But I just thought it'd be kind of cool to interact with you guys, um, let you guys see what you want to see. And I'll put that game in, and even if it's the, the worst game in the world, I'll put it in, I'll play it, review it, and uh, and capture it all with this Elgato. So if you guys want to look it up, um, uh, it's uh, here's the, the brand name right there, E-L-G-A-T-O. If you guys want to look up uh, some more information about it, uh, there is the game capture right there. Game capture HD. Um, it usually it retails for uh, usually 175. So if you guys are interested in picking one up, it does retail for for 175. Uh, I was able to get it on sale as well as use uh, gift cards from my birthday and the holidays to really cut my price down to next to nothing, um, which is really awesome for me. So um, I am going to be starting to get some capture for you guys, and uh, it also allows you to stream live. Uh, so as you know, hey, you can stream live too. If I get some time and I can and do that, I'll I'll start streaming some games for you guys and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, that's gonna wrap up this this portion of the uh, the recent pickups. I'm gonna cut and show you the last couple that I picked up once I get them, and we'll call it a wrap. All right, guys, back with part two of this recent pickups video. Um, just two more items I picked up. Uh, the guys up at Lucky Fun Time, if you remember me going there up in Penn Argel, they're now out of the Wing Gap Flea Market. Unfortunately, with my work schedule, I can't really get up there um, when, when they're up there on the weekends. So um, they did post two things on Facebook, and I contacted them, asking them to hold them for me. Uh, they were very gracious, and, and they held them for me um, and even met up with me. I met up um, across uh, in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, um, to meet up with them so I could pick them up and give them the money for it. So really, really awesome guys there. If you happen to uh, check out the Wing Gap Flea Market, please check out Lucky Fun Time Video Games. Uh, they are in the indoor uh, section. They have a little storefront in there. Um, but the two games that I picked up from them, one is an NES game that I needed, and that game is Rad Gravity. Um, I've seen this game before, just never picked it up, and uh, when I didn't pick it up, I hadn't seen it since. So... Uh, really, really awesome condition also, so uh, another one for the NES collection. And then um, the other one I picked up, um, just thought it was really awesome for the for the game room, for the shelf. I'm um, not really sure if I'm really going to play with it. Um, I don't believe it's complete. Uh, let me see. Actually, you know what, I'll, I'll show it to you first, and then I'll, I'll see if it's complete or not. Um, definitely has the box. The box is in stellar condition, and that's really what I wanted for the shelf for the game room. Uh, that game is Hey You Pikachu for the Nintendo 64. It is the, the fat box here, as you can see. Um, I believe he said it's, it's missing one of the parts, I think. But um, again, I'm not looking to really play it, I don't believe. Honestly, I just got it really for a collectible standpoint, just the fact that the box was in good shape. Uh, the game is obviously inside there. And let me see what else we have. We have uh, the manual. So for Hey You Pikachu. And 
It looks like... Oh, you know what? I think it is actually complete. It does have the connector, which, which goes um, into the controller. And then it also does have the microphone. It's missing the foam ball on the microphone. That's, that's, I remember him telling me he was missing something. And that's basically what it is. So I guess truly it's not complete. As you can see on the picture, uh, it does have like a little foam ball on the end of the microphone. Um, honestly, it's, it's in working condition. Uh, I'm okay with that. Like I said, I'll probably play just for the fact that um, I want to check it out. And then uh, probably it'll just end up on my shelf as uh, collectible. And the fact that, um, you know, Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon pretty much. Uh, I mean, pretty, I'm not really a big Pokemon fan, but uh, Pikachu is pretty cool. So um, just the fact that I can get this complete in its original box and um, just in stellar condition, um, I, you know, I call that a pretty good win. So pretty cool collectible. So that's going to wrap up this ep episode of uh, Recent Pickups, guys. Um, I do have uh, at least one more eBay video coming shortly. Um, I've got... Uh, I think I went through these on the last video, actually, on the, the last uh, eBay unboxings. I think it was episode 22. Um, but I do have um, a couple of, couple of different types of videos, all pickups, um, but just different types of videos. So stay tuned, guys. I am working on this game room. It is coming together. Uh, hopefully, in the next... I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be... I'll be realistic. In the next couple of months, maybe I'll get that out because uh, I've been saying it for years now. Um, and hopefully that'll, that'll be all set and everything else. I have some systems I still need to hook up. I have some stuff I still need to hang on the walls. I need to organize controllers and drawers. And there's a lot of stuff going on in this room. So uh, this is the organized section back here. That is not. So if you can see what I'm seeing right now, you probably have a heart attack. So anyway, um, I do have a you know, bunch, bunch of different kinds of videos coming up soon, guys. And that's going to wrap up this one. So until next time, guys, AC Car Shark, take care.